Yes, and so those are ones. Okay. Um, that was portrait, wasn't it? Yep. Ed's art. Yeah, he was great. Uh, I have to agree, line drawing, yeah, especially coming at it with paint, you know, and I was just recently playing with a, a palette knife that's like two inches wide. <laughs> so I like to get a lot of, or, you know, even with some of the drawing, I found that the flat compressed charcoal, right. great way to get like planes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then work from that and then chisel that back or erase it back. Right. So to go for, for the line drawing where, you know, it's much. Gone nuts here. I was going nuts. Yeah. And you, you even suggested at one point, well, why don't we try to, the tonal and then, you know, from the tonal draw, you know, apply the lines. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I've, I think I've started and, and taken as far as I wanted to go with maybe six casts right. and just finishing up with this one and putting a lot of effort into this. into the mindset that you're going to get this measurement down. But I don't think you felt restricted. You know, it felt like you, in my, from my point of view, mm -hmm. looking at your drawing, it really felt much more, you felt more at ease. You looked more at ease getting it together. Uh, I don't know what you changed, but... One pop one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that you were like struggling with measurement mm -hmm. so much with this. Um, Although plumb line and it were very useful. Yeah. yeah. And generally speaking, I think you have uh, already implied some of the uh, general values. The, the relief quality that comes out of this cast. I think it's already starting to emerge here. I mean, from the high, higher relief to the you know, very low relief, the, the difference between those heads. And looking at this as a problem of low, middle, high, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, how, how does that translate into the scheme here, and you're starting to get, this would have been an excellent one to do for line drawing, if you think about it, mm -hmm. because how would you achieve the difference in those three areas of line? So that, that is definitely a possibility for you to play with that after you get this at home and, and, and start you know, looking at this from a sense of, can I draw a line from this? Right. Could be a good experiment for you. Uh, and you have to be careful not to go too far because you can get to a place very quickly with a relief and you have to leave it alone. So what what is this finished? You know, is, is have I gone far enough? Like do I need to do anything more? Right. Do you have to keep yourself in check? You know, is you know, where is this in relation to that, in relation to that, and so forth. So Going forward, I think if you were drawing more today, I would say put that cash in. Yeah. Really frame it up because it's weighting pretty heavily here, right? You've got that. But this is going to really put it to the wall. Okay. It's going to make it what it is and as a relief. And it's going to start to help you frame up this edge and really refine that shape. Uh, then the next thing is to you know look at this like does this are you achieving that kind of relief here that's coming forward what's the farthest thing out that right there and you know how how does the the rest of the figure react I, I don't think you quite have that yet no but I think you really work very hard on the top to get that head in place yeah I was looking for more unity mm -hmm. um, and a lower left okay. quadrant. Um, but I actually think this is what's so impressive, but I, I don't think you were there yet. So right. now spend more time at the bottom. Okay. But what I think, and I'm, gonna, I'm just speaking for you, but it looks like you were trying really to get the face of the, the mother, you know, the female figure in place, right? And I'm not, I'm not really happy with how 
the mouth is aligned. Hmm. Remember, eyes, nose, mouth should be all on the same plane, well, parallel, right? right. And then she's run parallel. And I think she has a little turned up mouth. It's kind of smirky on the side. So that's the part that I would try to correct. You know, and it did fall in place better when you started to get more shadow in there. You, know, you still have to have a little bit of adjustment to do. And you know, going softly, like I said, you let me get my glasses on. Let me see. I want to see what you're doing with these ridges. What pencil are you using? What? Uh, primarily around the two, either B or H. Okay. You know what I thought you said? You're such a jerk. I thought you said primarily around. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to use sharp. <laughs> around, sharp, sharp. sharp. Grayish <laughs> Because uh, it's very soft, and this paper is like a watercolor paper. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I look at this, I have ridges, so there's a, a dark, a mid-range, and a light, and that's the sequence you want to work with. And, you know, in order for this not to just look like lines, yeah. you want to really create a value pattern like that, mm -hmm. dark mid-range light, dark mid-range light, keep going around. So that's how you can finish this. If you can find your time to get in here, that would be nice, because this, when you stand here looking, you can see the chisel marks. It's a relief. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a plaster cast, but you know, if you saw the original, it's got more going for it. But you, you could still play with some of those details. Um, you know, same thing down here to, to really make this so strong and, and rich. Yeah, that cast out of that here, say, at the bottom, if you added that, I mean, that thing looks awesome. And that's a great thing. It's a it's a satisfying thing to do, mm -hmm. and you should reward yourself for doing <laughs> by doing that. Yeah, it's like it makes you feel good. Yeah, it uh, yeah, pop right out. Mm -hmm. Just that one at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Darn. Mm -hmm. You fix that little mouth that's smirky now with that cast shadow, and, and you could say even if you ended this drawing, you'd have a respectable drawing. Okay. Even if you didn't go any farther, but I think on this paper. What were the pencils using? The 2B? Mm -hmm. else? And a round one. And a round one. <laughs> Grayish. <laughs> Not a hexagon. Okay. Go to a hard pencil now. Okay. Yeah, so not dramatic, but you know. But even um, if you're a 2B, you can slide, you can slide down to an H. Mm -hmm. 